Welcome back everybody, Anthony with The Forge University. Today we're going to do the EDC or everyday carry pocket dump. Uh, I see it's kind of a trend, um, but I also see some things that lean a lot more towards visual appearance versus actual practicality. So um, let's go over some things. Um, you'll notice that I'm a pretty simple guy. Um, I don't carry an entire warehouse of stuff with me. Um, it's just not practical. And, uh, but I do want to be prepared for a few things, so let's talk about that. Number one, iPhone. Everybody's got them. Um, I think that kind of goes without discussion. Uh, wallet, it's just pretty simple leather wallet. Um, I'm not really into the fancy stuff, if you guys know me at all. Um, one tip though, is carry some spare cash on you, maybe a couple hundred bucks. Um, you can get yourself out of some, some trouble situations just having that, or even just something as simple um, as maybe the card machines are down. If you have the lady on a date night, um, save the night, pay with cash, there you go. Um, also, we have our business cards. I gotta hand those out. So. There's my wallet. Keys. Nothing too crazy. I have house keys, car keys, and the keys to my safe. Um, and then I also have a little pill capsule. Um, really just some basic stuff like ibuprofen. I get a headache sometimes from listening to people talk without critical thinking or original opinions. So that's what that's there for. Um, what else do I have in here? Werther's Original, today's video sponsor. No, I'm just kidding, they're not a sponsor, but they should be. Um, I like these little deals. I'm not a big sweets guy, but these are pretty good, and I'm an old man, so. Um, knife, I got a Leatherman. This is a Wave Plus, okay? It's got a knife, a saw, um, pliers, screwdriver, can opener, all that kind of stuff in here. Um, I actually use this quite a bit. Um, people say, well, it's not fast to get to for the blade. I'm not using it to fight somebody um, or protect myself. This is pretty much just utility for me. Um, if anybody knows anything about edge weapon combat, they know that it makes a really big mess without getting you a lot of compliance uh, from a suspect, especially if they are on narcotics. Um, if I need protection, I can either go hands-on with an individual, um, which we'll be doing videos on self-defense stuff later, uh, or if it's a lethal encounter, um, I have other tools for that. We'll get to that here in a minute. All right, flashlight. Um, I, I get it, your phone has one, but this comes in handy for me a lot more. Um, it's pretty bright. This is a Streamlight ProTac 1L. Um, what The reason I like this is it can take double A's, triple A's, or CR-123's. Um, I don't think it's meant to, but they all will work in this. Um, I've had this light for years, it's pretty beat up, uh, and it still works awesome for me. Uh, it's got a little pocket clip, I don't really use it, but what's cool is if you are a hat kind of guy, you can clip it onto the hat and then it's like a headlamp. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, let's see, AirPods. I can nerd out on music pretty quick. Um, I use this at work pretty frequently. Also, you can use it for the microphone when you're filming, even though it's not ideal, but there's that. Uh, watch. I got a fossil watch. Um, it's nothing too crazy. They work, I like them. I know everybody has the eye watches now. I'm not really gonna do all that fancy stuff. It's not necessary for me. Um, sunglasses, I always carry sunglasses. I like Oakley's. They offer eye protection, um, not just from the UVs, but also like ballistic eye protection because uh, I'm on the shooting range a lot for the nature of this business. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm just kidding. I know what everybody's here to see, right? The cool stuff. 
I do carry a firearm. Okay, it's nothing crazy. It's pretty simple. It's a Glock 9mm. I've got some night sights on it. Other than that, it's pretty much completely stock. Okay, people are going to ask if I safety checked this before the video, if I unloaded it. No, I didn't. It's loaded and it's going to stay that way. Okay, um, all guns are always loaded. That's the first rule of firearm safety. Watch that video if you haven't, if you're into that sort of stuff. Um, but we're gonna treat it as if it was loaded, regardless of whether I clear it before the video or not. So it's just kind of silly um, to do that. I also carry a spare magazine, um, not just for the extra ammo, which is just kind of a bonus, uh, but magazines are the number one thing to fail on a gun, uh, at least a modern semi-automatic anyway. And I wanna have an extra source available, okay? So um, I carry, just regular hollow points. I think they're gold dots for those of you that ask. Um, so anyway, a uh, couple extra things. Sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm doing uh, outside work, I'll carry a fixed blade knife um, or if I'm going to the outdoors for hiking, hunting, or whatever. Um, this is an Ontario Rat 3 fixed blade. Um, it's big enough if I need to fight with it. It's got a little pommel on the back for striking, um, but it's also small enough to not be in the way. Um, really good knife, high quality steel. Uh, you can get custom grips for it and all that sort of stuff. Um, water bottle. Hydration is key for you military guys out there. You know this phrase, hydrate or die. Um, I just keep mine in a little Starbucks cup. I like Starbucks coffee. Judge me if you want, I don't really care, um, but have a way to, to keep hydrated. Um, a lot of that extra stuff that I'm missing, I know a lot of people ask about first aid gear and a bunch of other things. I carry that in my backpack, which goes with me everywhere in my vehicle, uh, along with the laptop and often camera equipment. Um, so if you guys want to see what's in that backpack, push a comment down below, um, like the video, Subscribe, share the video with your friends, visit theforgeuniversity.com. Stay tuned for future content. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, actions surpass words, so get out there and get her done. Later.